What a great competition. Best of luck with that. Now, if I was to say to you, sheep placenta and bird droppings, <laughs> Yeah, you'd probably go laugh or go, Ugh. but Victoria Beckham, apparently, uh, she's a fan of both of those things. <laughs> what is it she does with these offerings from the innards of animals, you may well be asking? Well, she uses the sheep placenta as a draft excluder, perhaps? No? <laughs> does, she, does she double up the bird poo, some kind of polyfiller? <laughs> Who knows? But allegedly, allegedly, she likes to smear both of those things on her face in an attempt to keep looking young. To keep looking young. You might go... Well, I'd rather smear it over David's. <laughs> <laughs> Today, the Mirror columnist, Alison Phillips, she's lambasted Victoria for her alleged age-defying antics, saying it's time to fight back against this obsession with youth. Does she have a point? Is it time to fight back, ladies? No! No? <laughs> listen, no. listen. If it's there, <laughs> I'm going to use it. I don't care. As long as it doesn't smell like bird poo. <laughs> you know, I... Uh... Listen, I've, I've had so, I have had a little bit done. I've been very honest with everybody, and and I, I have had a, you know we're in our family we were blessed, okay, with little bums, but big fat chins, <laughs> <laughs> and I had some fat sucked out of there, and I feel better for that. Now, if, if that's upsetting everybody, I don't care. So, and I've also had my eyes done to make me look like I'm not asleep most of the time <laughs> because I wasn't blessed with great genes. Uh, apart from a little bum in my long legs. And if there's a cream out there, for someone who has suffered with acne for most of her teenage years, I understand the need to have a skin that looks clear. And believe me, when you find something that works, it's like a eureka moment. Does it work? Mm. Does anything work, though? Well, I'll give it a call. <laughs> <laughs> Get the sheets going. I just... I just... <laughs> Say, when did it become a crime for women to get older? It isn't I mean, it, a it crime. just seems that nobody's allowed to think, well, she's aged. Yeah, well, yeah I'm 52. This is a 52 year old face. Oh, what you, happens? So this so is what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Take, Take a look, kids, be warned. It is. <laughs> this is what happens. Isn't it? But you know, it's. 52. Oh, thank you very much. Well, it well, you is. do. Yeah, it's all so makeup and mirrors. You don't need it. But it is on my nerves now. It's good for 52. For 52. Yes. Oh. Uh, not it, your face isn't good. It's I mean, really? it's, she's That's looking, her name. No, no, just that her face is a good face for 52. Thank you very much. Yeah, she's talking about your face as a specimen. But I just, you know, I think there is... <laughs> 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 it's marvellous while it is. Yes. I think there is I mean, an obsession, particularly for women, and a great pressure to look younger all the time. And I say, what? There are, there are women now, or girls in my eyes, who are in their late 20s who are having all these fillers when they're 25. Mm -hmm. And by the time they're 32, they look odd. And, you well, know, are, mm. your face is supposed to have some creases. Have you and, had anything done? I, I honestly haven't. Look, that's why I have a fringe. Look at those. Hideous, aren't they? Oh. But listen, Tell this is not to say, I don't look in the mirror every morning and go, oh, God, look at those. Oh. And when I see those awful photographs of me that are captured out somewhere, splashed on the front of magazines, you know, I want to run to the surgeon's table, believe me. But, but I stop happy. every time. Eamon's very happy and, you know, I just think... This is what my face is supposed to look like. And there's more pressure when you're on the TV or, in, yeah. you know, it, it, in the career you do, Jane, it kind of people are always looking at you. Mm. I, can, I completely... I'm completely with you, Ruth. It's, it's, it's so tragic and it's so sad that... And it's not an obsession with looking young. I don't think it's about looking young. It's an, a, an obsession with not ageing, but that's what happens, and it's going to happen sooner or later. I don't care how many needles you put mm. in your face, eventually you are going to look like an old handbag, and that's... <laughs> Right, you can you can try whatever you like. You can try yeah. the sheep's percent, and I know all these stars that say, "Oh, I look like this because I put sheep's percent on my face." No, you don't. Mm. It's just not possible. And this is this is a problem. It's a constant battle for women, especially of our age. And Lisa says to you, "Good face for 52." What is a 52-year-old face supposed to look like yeah, anymore? Compared to what? <laughs> compared to someone yeah. who maybe you know hasn't spent so much time in the sun, or or maybe you know has led a really sort of wild life. Life. That's what shows on your face, and that's your life. That's the way you've chosen to look. Do you know what annoys me? Though? I think there are too many 
celebrities who claim they've done nothing and they look terrific. And then you say, you look fantastic. And they go, I've just inherited my mother's good genes. Yeah. But it's true, yeah, you should right. be allowed to keep it you know. private if you have that stuff done. But it, these days, you can't because everybody is obsessed with it. And I tell you, I, I struggle every day with the decision. Rub shall, I have a, shall I have a facelift or yeah. shall I not? No, it's too can't. late for me and Ruth, I think, to have needles <laughs> put in our face. <laughs> it's too late for us. Everything's already there and there's no point in trying to sort of yeah. erase them now because we'll look weird. But I think yeah. you can have a little bit of help with a bit of surgery, but at the same time I think, no, why should I? This is my face. Get used to it. No. I can't get used to it. No one can get used to it. And I'll tell you, if Mark wasn't around, I would get rid of every single mirror in my house, especially the magnifying one, and I would just be happy ever after. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, rub, would you rub bird poo in your face? I'd rub anything in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> anything you like. Yeah. I'm with Jane on this. I'm yeah. like, if if someone's gone to the trouble of inventing something that's going to hold back the ears and you can get it in a pot and bung it on, then that's fine. Do it. Um, I don't, and I don't, I don't have a problem with um, needles in your face. I mean, I have had bo bo botulism um, in my face um, in my life. I don't do it regularly, and I tried it, and I got scared because I actually couldn't move, and I was supposed to be acting at the time. It's not good for your no, profession. You can't, you can't express yourself. Um, I'm anti fillers because I think they change the way you look. Um, I'm definitely anti cutting open any part of your body, your face to change the way you look because I think if you go to the to the extreme of having a medical procedure an actual operation which we're supposed to have because you're ill mm -hmm. then I think you've lost the plot but little bits of if you want to bunk bunk birds poo on your eyes and you want to shove a, something up your bottom or whatever <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't always change the way you look it just makes you look a bit like you used to look. Yeah. no it doesn't a little bit they if don't. it's done properly it does because no. there are quite a few people out there who you know full well have had those little adjustments They've had, had them. One now. They just yeah. won't admit to it. Yes, you know you'd because I'm on the telly a lot, and you've all noticed. of a sudden, and no. I, you can't come to work and go. At, no, you no, no, no. I'm not going to have my neck like attached to the top of my head. I'm not going to go that far. It would be a tiny adjustment. You it's see, that's, not like a serious. That's just you, a, you just and Ruth and Lisa are all really getting on my nerves because you've got that lovely. <laughs> <laughs> you've got that lovely jaw. No, we really. some people were not blessed. <laughs> <laughs> In your lallies. Well, Trudy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Trudy. Hello, Trudy. She said, I wish people would stop worrying about getting old. Life is too short. Not everyone is going to have the opportunity to get to the, that age, never mind experiencing wrinkles. Mm. So just enjoy your life. Yeah. Uh, Sharon yeah. says, I'm happy to put anything plastered on my face if it takes the years off. Placenta mm. droppings, whatever, bring it on. <laughs> I'd recommend ketchup. A bit smelly, but it does the job. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar, it just sticks it. to your oh, face. No. Well, on her face, on her, face. Hope. <laughs> on her chips, that's where it should go. <laughs> <laughs> face. What a waste of good ketchup. <laughs> 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 right, girls, hold your faces back. We've got to take a break now, but we're talking <laughs> balls with Joe Calzaghi and asking, does a 30-day break from your other half leave you feeling refreshed or fretful? Think about that one. See you in a couple of minutes. <laughs>